Okay, we're going to continue our discussion on transforming the this apple oatmeal breakfast dessert thing that we uh, into something that goes into a slow cooker. Yeah, because someone said, you know, they watched the video where what did I call that video? Oat oat filled uh, apples and where I put them in the microwave and they turned out pretty good. But then somebody said, what would happen? Oh, get it! Ah! Um, what would happen if you put them in the slow cooker? And I thought, I don't know, because I was kind of thinking that too. And I have a slow cooker, but I hardly ever use it. And Shelly Campbell sent me an email a few weeks back, and she said, you got any slow cooker recipes? And I thought, no, not really. But now I do. Ha ha, yay! So Shelly, I'm dedicating this first Simple Daily Recipes slow cooker recipe to you. It's all for you, baby. All for you. So get out your pen and paper. This is pretty much like the uh, same ingredients as the uh, ingredients that I used for the oat-filled apple video. I just kind of rearranged everything and kind of went lasagna style in the slow cooker. So, all right, you ready? You ready? You ready? All right, I started out with two large gala apples and just peeled those. And I decided I was going to slice them up and... Uh, um, of course, take out their seeds. Um, I'm a fan of uh, Gala apples. Is it Gala or Fuji? Which ones do I like the most? I get I get both of them. One of them, Fuji apples, I like to juice with. Gala apples, I like to eat. And so I think these are Gala apples. Big Gala apples. Unusually big Gala apples. And here's my lazy way of coring an apple or cutting up apples. I just like to cut around the core, toss the core, and then go from there. There you go. Let's speed it up. Okay, that's done. Did you like that? Okay, now I got out uh, three large uh, dates. And I uh, just took the seeds out of those. And then I wanted to chop those up into just little, you know, bite-sized pieces. Tiny little pieces. This is the, all the sugar. This is, you know, dates are super sweet. And you see, I see a lot of times people are, uh, you know, cookbook authors use dates as their sugar replacement. And they are really, really sweet. So I didn't want to put too many in here. Because I knew I was going to put raisins in there too. Okay, so... Um, in my little crock pot, I got a small crock pot, I decided to put two layers of apples on the bottom. I did not grease or oil the crock pot because I knew that I was just going to cook this for um, a few hours during the day so I could keep an eye on things. And being the first time I was going to make this, I thought, well, I can keep an eye on it and see how things go. Okay, very lightly, I'm sprinkling the cinnamon not really have a measurement here just a little bit this is about three-fourths cup of oatmeal rolled oats not oatmeal but rolled oats here goes half of those dates just sprinkling those on top next golden raisins I love golden raisins those are my favorite I like golden raisins over uh, dark raisins I don't think those they, but I love golden raisins and then some good pecans. These pecans I shelled myself because I do that in the winter time. I like to sit with my little pecan bowl and watch Christmas movies and shell pecans like my Meemaw used to do. Okay, now I'm going another layer of the apples and then I'm gonna sprinkle a little more cinnamon. There you go. See, I'm not going too much. And then a little more oatmeal. I'm not measuring. I was really eyeing this here. Can you tell? Okay, the rest of the dates. Some more golden raisins. Some more pecans. I say pecans. It's not pecans. It's pecans. Okay, and then here, uh, it's three-fourths of a teaspoon of vanilla, which I just kind of sprinkled around. No, did I say three-fourths? I meant to say one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. Okay, and then you see I'm not measuring here. This is plain unsweetened soy milk. 
and I'm just going to pour, keep pouring until I see the milk come up on the sides. I'm not trying to cover it with milk because I know the apples are, are going to break down and they're going to let off juices and that's going to be more liquid to the oatmeal. So see, I, when I started to see the milk come up on the sides there, I stopped. Okay, then I put the lid on, set it to high, and I let this uh, bake or whatever, cook in the slow cooker for four hours, exactly four hours. And I, and look, I really didn't have much sticking. Strangely, the oatmeal, um, it did, it, it like only stuck in one little place in the pot. And then the whole rest of the pot, it wasn't, it didn't stick. It was like totally smooth. I could just, you know, run my spatula around the bowl and everything was fine. It smells awesome. Oh my gosh. It is, oh, I tell you what, I mean, you want to make your house smell like a home. Put this, get this stuff going and oh, it'll drive everybody crazy. Okay. And it, you know, it doesn't really look, I mean, it looks kind of mushy, but it's good. The apples are tender and the, the, some of the grapes, uh, grapes, <laughs> the raisins just kind of disintegrated and I didn't find any of the dates. I think they disintegrated too. So it looks a little mushy, but oh baby, it is good. Okay, here we go. Smells good. Here it is. No, I didn't. I, I just took one tiny little bite earlier. I'm going to take a bite of the apple. Oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh, yeah. We can make this dessert, or we can make this. I want to sit up here so you can see. Mmm. Mmm. I'm telling you, just that little bit of dates, just those three dates, that added a lot of sugar. And the grapes. I mean, the grapes. I keep saying grapes. The raisins. <laughs> they ate, <clears throat> added quite a bit. Whew. I didn't chew my apple enough. I almost choked. <laughs> One of these days, these braces will come off, and I'll be able to properly chew my food. It'll be wonderful. I can't wait. I bet you can't wait either. Okay, this is awesome. I'm going to go eat this by myself. Make it for breakfast. Make it for a snack. Make it for dessert. Just make it. Whatever you do, make it. And then come back and tell me what you thought. Okay, four hours total on high in the slow cooker. Give it a try. You could do it overnight. But I have no idea how that's going to turn out. You're going to have to tell me um, what happens if you do it on low overnight. All right? Deal? Deal. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye.